How's it going, guys? This is Lacey here bringing you, um, no, I forget what it's called. What is it? Sorry, I just forgot. The WPF, uh, Season 4 Draft Analysis for the Palestine Palkias. Now, that's a really weird name. I don't know why I came, I don't know why that's my teammate. Like, I'm, I just went on kind of a logo-making spree, and I just decided to make that, and I guess I kind of like it, but I could have done something else, um, like, I made one that's the Detroit Pyroars. I might even change it to that. I'm not sure yet. But uh, for now, we're the Palestine Palkias. Or the Palestine Palkias. I don't know. Anyway. Um, yeah, so this is the draft analysis. Basically, I wanted to get it. This is actually an Oris, like, Wi-Fi League, which is great. I've never done one of those before. And um, basically, you know, the FPL is finishing up. Not that I've already had my battle, so I don't know if uh, my... I don't know if my... Um... I don't know if my FBL career is ending this Sunday or the next Sunday after that Sunday, so uh, I'm not positive yet, but um, yeah, so wh why am I losing words right now? So basically with the FBL finishing up and the CIL isn't really consistently every week, which is fine, but it's not consistently every week, so I want to have... Uh, because after the FBL ends, I might not have, like, a battle or a video up every every week consistently. So, I decided to join another league. It's an Oros League, which I've never wanted. I, I, which I've never been in. I wanted to be in an Oros League because that seems fun. And, um, I tried to join one, but, you know, I, I wasn't, you know, I didn't get in it. There were too many applications. Or not too many applications, but, like, I, you know... App applied for the league and they picked other people so uh, that's fine uh, but we are in this one and uh, yeah so basically it's a, I think it's like a, it's like a point style value it's like a GBA style drafting but it's kind of different in like you get I think what you get 1200 points and and you just spend you know, like each trap each pick like you spend points on like there's not like any tier one tier two tier three like there are they are classified in the tiers but you don't have to get like a tier five a tier one and two th tier threes or whatever and also the mega doesn't cost any points which is interesting so like each every mega is free so uh yeah so basically tier one is 180 points tier two is 140 tier three is 100 tier four is 80 uh tier five is 60 I believe, and tier six is forty. So uh, that's that's great, all all well and good. I think that's how it is. But yeah. So anyway, uh, I have it right here. The first guy and the first Pokemon I decided to pick up uh, was Volcanion. Now <laughs> I know what you're thinking, Volcanion. It's it's a little out, out of the outside the box, but uh, I wanted I really wanted it for my team. So it's only got three weaknesses: Electric, Ground, and Rock, which is nice. Um, I, I actually forgot that it had the rock weakness for, like, literally, like, f for, until, like, this afternoon. Uh, I forgot that it had the rock weakness, but that's fine, because looking at his stats, it's got really good stats right here. It's got 110 attack, 120 defense, and 130 special attack, which is really nice. Pitiful speed, but we could run choice scarf. It's, you know, it's still decent. Uh, and then special defense, if we put an assault vest on there, it's going to be eating some special hits hopefully and then water absorb so combined with a fire wa water typing um water absorb is really good because it gives us a water immunity and this thing resists four times resist three types so four times resist uh fire steel and ice which is really cool um yeah and then you know looking it's also got a great moveset it can run flame charge to get my speed up if i want uh it's got a bunch of different things here um Gets like sludge bomb, sludge rave. There it is. Gets superpower. We could or will wisp. You know, it's got really, uh, really good. Sorry, really good physical bulk, which is nice. <clears throat> it's got explosion if I want that. And uh, yeah, steam eruption. So it's basically like an overpowered scald, which is nice. It can also get scald, but <laughs> if I want it, if I want to ensure that accuracy, which will never happen, but uh, yeah, focus plus too, and. Um, you know, Flare Blitz, uh, yeah, Fire Blast is right there. I'm really excited to use this thing because I've never really used it. Um, I don't think you can get it shiny. I hope I can, but I'm not sure. This thing's going to be named Metamorphic B. 
because, you know, it's kind of like a volcano and metamorphic is a type of rock, so, yeah. Anyway, next Pokemon I decided to get uh, that I felt like, pr like, synergized with Landers very well, or sorry, with Volcanion very well with Landers Therian. Now, if I didn't get L Landers, I had a backup in Gly Glyscore, but I really wanted Landers Therian because, um, even over Landers Incarnate, we could have gotten, I could have gotten Landers Incarnate, but I wanted Landers Therian because of that Intimidate and that huge attack stat. Now, I know Sheer Force, Life Orb, uh, Landers Incarnate is probably technically more powerful, but, um, I just love that raw power that Landers provides for me, and um, you know, decent speed. I could run a Calm Mind set if I want, um, or a Bulk Up set, or a Swords Dance set. Like this thing can set up if it wants. Uh, with that Intimidate, it, it it might be able to do that. So it can also go with Rocks if I want it to do that. Um, U-turn, Super Power, Stone Edge, Rock Polish if I want that. If I want to raise my speed. So this thing has a lot of opportunities, a lot of setup options, but um, uh, it's also just got raw power and base 145 attack. So uh, I didn't know it got outrage, but it gets that if I want that. So uh, yeah, then we have knock off. Why not just click that? And then you know, I guess U-turn is great, and then earthquake. Of course, it's it's just such a good thing, Pokemon to bring. Um, and I, I feel like it's a, kind of just gonna be that one Pokemon that's just gonna come every single time, you know. Kind of like like your Mega Venusaur, your Mega Sableye. It just pretty much comes every single time. So uh, I'm gonna, we're going to be na naming this thing Rowan's. And the reason why it m pairs up well with Volcanion is because Volcanion is weak to Electric, Ground, and Rock. Two of those types, Landers is immune to. And Landers is weak to Water and Ice. Waters is immune to because of Water Absorb. And it four times just Ice. So that's... That's great. This is a good duo, good duo so far. So, next Pokemon I, want, I wanted, um, I just decided to go with something that people would hate me for. I went with Blissey, uh, because sorry if my cure background noise, but again, I can't do anything about it. So, uh, yeah, Natural Cure is definitely great. I love Natural Cure um, because you know you get toxic, you get toxic, and you can just switch out, and that's awesome. Obviously, the HP stat, pretty much everyone knows about freaking Blissey. Uh, why is it a, it's attack less than... Oh, because it already has the automatic 30 or 0 IVs for attack. That's not fair. You should you should allow the Blissey to have a physical variant, which is never coming, but, you know, just in case. So, got really good special defense. Um, you're not hitting this thing with an HP fighting. You're just, you're just not, so... It's nice to know, and obviously physical defensive is great. People know what this thing does, so it is predictable, but uh, it does what it needs to do very well. You know, if I need something to just automatically just switch into a hit, this thing pretty much switches into a lot of hits. Um, obviously, Chansey is a bit better because of the Eviolite, but I mean, uh, meh, that doesn't really matter. <laughs> As um, yeah, you keep switching down to zero, I don't give it freaking 31 IVs. Give that attack some respect. It keeps going. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to stop it right there. I forget what I was going to name this thing, uh, but you'll find out in the season because I'm probably going to bring this thing to every game. Just kidding. I won't do that. That's That would not be fun. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm just going to name this thing HP. That's what I wanted to name it. So, you know, there you go. Um, yeah. So, next up, I decided to bring... Yeah. I decided to get uh, Fortress here. Sorry. You got background noise. Uh, which is great, it's one weakness is fire. We four times just that with Volcanion. I forget what I was going to nickname this thing to. Uh, but I'll probably think about it later. So we got the Sturdy, which is great. Um, this thing's great for hazards. I wanted this thing because it pairs well with, uh, with Pussy. Obviously, they don't really cover each other's weaknesses, but physical defense is great. Special defense is great. It's just overall, it's, it's really, it's, it's a good combination. Um, it gets pain split. I never knew that. That, that could be useful. Uh, yeah, this thing is the ultimate, you know, hazard stacker. Seltox spikes, sticky web. It's, sorry, toxic spikes. If this thing got sticky web, that would be awesome. But Jar Ball is also hitting hard with that base 40 um, speed. And it's also got decent attack. You know, I could, you know, with, again, that Gyro Ball. I could run Offensive Fortress, which is never happening, but I don't know. Giga Drain, that's cool. Also gets Rapid Spin, so it can 
control hazards while setting them up. So that's definitely nice. Uh, that's basically all I have to say about Fortress. I don't know how often it's gonna come, but uh, it's it's pretty freaking cool. So anyway, uh, next up we brought uh, Gasher on. We decided to get to Gasher. I guess you'd say this thing. Um, I'm naming it Travis. I remember. I remember this one. So I'm naming it Travis. I really don't know why because Travis is a freaking cool name. I guess. I'm, I'm, I'm making it male because, you know, Travis is a male name. Uh, it's got decent, decent, it's got a really good HP stat here. Uh, obviously, its defense is a little, you know, underwhelming, but this thing can be a great wall just because of its HP stat. Obviously, it's not as good as Blissey's, but it, it, it's still pretty good because uh, this thing is only grass, we, only weakness is grass, and we have a 4 times resist right there, so it's nice. Um, Memento, I didn't know it got that. It gets pain split, but recovers just a lot better in my opinion uh, with the toxic and this thing's also a water immunity if I want that um, also you know uh, sand force I don't know how that's gonna help but you never know sticky hold if I want to keep my item from people who try to knock it off so who knows um, earthquake and earth power so it's definitely nice so I, I got this thing because I wanted to you know blissey fortress and uh, my man Travis here, Gastrodon. I don't. Who's who's stopping the score? I do not see anything. Maybe Darmanitan, but no, he's he's not stopping. He, he gets walled by any, basically any water type, other than Sharpedo. So uh, next up, we have um yeah. So we got Gardevoir next because it's not Mega Gardevoir. It's regular Gardevoir because I feel like me regular Gardevoir is um like under overlooked because of its mega counterpart but it's got really good attack or it's got really good special attack <laughs> really good attack yeah right 65 it's got really good special attack and pretty decent really good special defense i should say uh, this thing gets trace which is great i could copy someone's ability which is nice um it gets synchronized which is cool too uh tel telepathy won't, won't really matter we're naming this thing gemini because it's a cool name i guess and no one's shiny, like, this is the only Pokemon that's shiny so far. So we might as well make it shiny there. As, uh, yeah. So it gets a lot of things. It gets Wish, which is nice. Uh, Will-O-Wisp, which is also nice. Taunt, Thunder Wave. Uh, Trick, you know, which is really great. That's one thing that, uh, this Gardevoir, regular Gardevoir can do. It can hold a different item so that it can be tricked. Uh, like, it can trick other, other Pokemon, like, items that are beneficial to... Like, that are not, that are bad things, like Iron Barb, that it's an item that makes you always go last, or Lagging Tail. So if I trick that onto something, that could be nice, uh, whereas Mega Gardevoir can't trick its Mega Stone, that would not end well. So, uh, yeah, Psy Shock is nice, um, Pain Split, or sorry, Moon Blast, I meant. Uh, Grass Knot, Focus Blast, Energy Ball, Thunderbolt, I believe it gets Destiny Bond is cool, so... Uh, that's nice then Calm Mind. Uh, I just feel like he, this thing is undervalued in my opinion. A uh, quick little thing I'm, I'll guess I'll do right now is I guess I'll just put I'll, I'll, I'll give Fortress a nickname right here because I have a list of nicknames I could give it. Um, let's see we can name it we can name it a number of different things. Uh, we'll name it I guess we'll just name it Oh wait, no, sorry, we're not naming, we're naming this thing Dimension, sorry, I forgot. I don't know why this matters, <laughs> but we're naming that thing Dimension, we're naming this Inertia, so, that's cool. Moving on, uh, let's go to our next team, yeah, FBL team, ready to go uh, in a few days, so, that's nice. Next up, uh, yeah, so, here I wanted to pick my Mega, now, I... I now basically, I knew I had a fire, water, grass. I knew I wanted that, but we had a water and a fire type, and and yeah, we I wanted a grass type to complete that core. We also had a steel and a fairy type. I wanted to complete that core with a dragon type. What? What's the only Pokemon in this game that's a grass and a dragon type? And that is Mega Sceptile. Um, Mega Sceptile is, in my opinion, great. We're naming this thing Spade. I do not care. Um, 
uh, yeah, we're naming it Spade. It's gonna be shiny because it freaking it looks freaking cool, dude. Uh, anyway, look at those. Look at that set. 145, 145, 110 attack, which is pretty decent too. And this thing gets Sword Stance, so that can be used very effectively with Drain Punch. So who knows? This thing. Look at all this. You know, acrobatics, agility, you know, Bullet Seed, Crunch, Double Edge, Dragon Claw, Dragon Pulse. All of this. You know, it's got really good coverage here. Uh, I didn't know it got, uh, got Outrage. I never knew that. So, you know, Sword Dance Outrage is scary. It gets Thunder Bunch. It gets, you know, Seed Bomb. Quick Attack for Priority. Uh, Roar. Substitute. This thing does a lot more than I initially thought it could do. And, um, yeah, I feel like it could... It has more physical coverage than special coverage. Because it only gets, like, Giga Drain, Dragon Pulse, and... And, uh, Focus Blast. But those three moves are really good. Also, it gets Earthquake for physical... Physicality. Um... Was it Giga Drain? Did I say Giga Drain? It also gets Leech Seed, or yeah, Leech Seed, Leaf Storm, which is nice. Um, so yeah, Home Claws could be nice if I want to want a mixed set, so I could go for Home Claws, and that would boost my accuracy, so Focus Blast could hit. I don't know. Uh, so yeah, this thing's great. Let me just make sure. Sorry, I'm kind of doing this last minute. I don't know. Okay. All right. Well, I think I think we're good. Yeah, so this thing's great. Uh, obviously, it's on the four times ice weakness. It's gonna be huge HP ice magnet between this thing and uh, Landers, but it's fine. So uh, next up, we have E Electros. So I decided to get E Electros because it's an electric type. That's nice. It doesn't have any weaknesses. It is immune to ground, which is doesn't really matter. I mean, get, I guess it helps, you know, Volcanion, but we already have two and a resistance and immune muted and an immunity. Uh, so we're doing, we're looking pretty good for electric types because we have two ground types, and then we have another res resistance and another resistance, or, or another immunity. No, that's for ground. I don't know. Anyway, I'm, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Anyway, Electros, it's great. It's just so, it's so cool. Acid spray can be such so good for wall break for walls like a huge, especially defensive wall. For example, take Blissey, or no, Chansey, since I have Blissey. So when gets Chansey there, I can just go for Acid Spray, decrease its special events by two, and then proceed to just, like, go for another one, I guess. Like, this thing, you know, having an Acid Spray put on you, um, by an Electros, like, if you have a wall there, and it gets, its special defense goes down by two, like, that's really, like, stressful. Like, that's scary, because then, you know, now your dedicated wall to e Electros is, like, is countered by e Electros, you know, you know, so, I guess, you know, does this thing get Focus Blast? I really think it doesn't, um, no, it gets Focus Punch, I was excited for a minute, it doesn't get Focus Blast, but that's fine, uh, this thing gets amazing coverage, as you can tell here, uh, it gets Coil, which is nice, because then once my accuracy is up, uh, I can go with Zap Cannon, which is cool, sweet, nice, um, yeah, so, Full switch, great. I just get U-turn if I want Thunder Wave. Uh, overall, this thing's great for coverage, and it can it can do a lot. It can do a lot of different things. Uh, typically, Assault Vest is the most common um, item for this thing, but who knows? Um, I might just bring uh, freaking Air Balloon because that's that makes the most sense. Yeah. So we're gonna make this thing shiny too because it looks really cool. It looks dope as a shiny. Let's let's just be honest with ourselves right now. Um, so we are going to name this thing, I, I forget, um, let's try to name it something, I'll just name it Radiation, no, let's name it Impulse, Impulse, I guess, yeah, that's cool, anyway, um, <laughs> next up, uh, next up we have Sharpedo, uh, Sharpedo is nice, I'm gonna put it, again, sorry f for the background noise, Sharpedo is nice because, um, I feel like this thing's underrated, uh, because speed boost, and this thing gets one base 120 defense. I have to check real quick. It doesn't get Swords Dance. Okay, I thought it did. So, Aqua Jet is uh, clutch for this priority. Uh, Crunch is also nice. Destiny Bond, I forgot about that. Destiny Bond can be really useful because I'm going to be really fast after a couple speed boosts. And this thing is also run special sometimes, uh, but often it's just run physical. Um, Ice Fang is great for grass types if I need that coverage. Uh, Taunt is also there. Zen Headbutt I didn't know it got, which is nice for fighting types. Poison Jab for fairy types. It's got some decent coverage to make up for its weaknesses. And, um, 
you know, that's that, that's great, dude. That's, that's freaking great. We're gonna name this thing Scar, because that's great and uh, nice. And I don't, I think we're gonna get, put a shiny. I'm not sure though. Um, I'm not sure. We'll we'll think about it later because I know a lot of these things. Okay. Uh, next up, we have. Okay, so I decided to get another water type. Now I know what you're thinking. That's three water types. That's not good because that's you know three grass weaknesses. Um, but we do have fortress there, and we do have mega septile there. So, which both four times resist grass. So I don't know how that's gonna work out though. This is a really funky team. I understand that, but um, yeah. So. Anyway, uh, Jilson is here. We're not going to make this thing shiny, but it's great for the special wall uh, because it got decent HP and decent special defense. And with Will O Wisp, it can really be great. Um, gets water absorbed, but I already have two water immunities um, with Volcanion and Gastrodon, so I think Cursed Body would be the most effective uh, if I am bringing a different Pokemon on my team. I, I mean, if I'm not, if I'm not bringing Gastrodon or or Volcanion that I might bring Water Absorb, um, just because it's great as an immunity. Uh, but Curse Body, it, it it's coming so clutch for me in regular Wi-Fi battles because it's just it's it's great. Like if something just hits you with a with a move that hits really hard, but that's their only thing to hit you hardly. Then if Curse Body activates, then they can't hit you. You can recover up on them, and it's just a fun time. So. Um, yeah, that's, that's great. This thing is, this thing's freaking awesome, dude. I love Jilson. I have a lot of experience with it. And will was plus Hex is nice. Um, it, it, yeah, that's, that's great. Also, Water Spout, if we want to run offensive choice scarf, freaking Jilson, that's not going to work. It's, it's really not. Um, we have Trick there, which is nice. Taunt, Substitute, obviously Recover, like I said. And, again, I'm... At a point, I don't know where I'm gonna nickname this thing. Um, uh, uh, ex please excuse this uh, this little pause real quick. Let me let me just name it like let's just name it like Virgo, I guess. Virgo, yeah, no Virgo. There it is. That's nice. Next up, I I don't know why I picked this. I just went with Pseudo Ludo. <laughs> Look at this exact like got you know what is it? Base 70 speed HP, that's not that good. Base 100 attack, which is nice. Base 115 defense, which is nice. Base 30 special attack. Base 65 special defense. Base 30 speed. That's just, no. Like, you look at these, you just want to cry um, for this thing. So, um, hopefully, we'll be able to do something with it. it. I don't think I will be able to, though. Uh, but I don't think I'll make it shiny either. Let me see. We have these two shiny. One, two... Three, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, yeah, we can make it shiny actually. I, I, whenever I do them, I always make the nickname, and then six of my Pokemon can be shiny, and six are not. So we are able to make this thing shiny as well, which is nice because I don't really want Blissey to be shiny. I don't really like Fortress as a shiny, or Landers, or Volcanion. So, yeah, that's that's nice. Anyway, this thing will be named. Um, it's a trap. Yeah, there. Um, I don't, I don't know if I'm ever gonna use this thing, but <laughs> whatever. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I just need to, you know, I could actually do this, right? I have to keep track of, cause, uh, in ORS, um, like in the cartridge game, you can only have twelve characters for a nickname. So I'm just gonna count them real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Sweet, we have just enough. For spaces and stuff. So, the reason I got this thing was because I wanted something for for bird spam other than Electros. This thing can switch into um, it can switch into Brave Birds. Nice. Uh, it also gets Sturdy plus Weakness Policy, which is nice. Uh, so if I get the Weakness Policy up and I go for Rock Polish, I got you know decent speed. Like if I go 252 um, at level. By the way, we're gonna have level 50 in this. Um, yeah. Level 50, I mean, it's it's not a lot of speed. It's definitely not enough, in my opinion. But 82 times 2 is like 164. That that can outspeed some, some things, at least. Um, which is cool. 
but that's not even going jolly, which is nice. If we go jolly, then we'll outspeed pretty much everything at level 50. So, anyway, hammer arm, it's nice. It's nice. Explosion is cool. Normal gem boosted. Uh, EQ, calm mind, never gonna happen. Uh, ice punch, power punch. This thing gets decent coverage. Uh, also, stealth rocks if I need it. And thunder punch, wood hammer is cool. And sucker punch for priority. So, I could see this thing doing some, some kind of work, but I just don't see it sweeping any anyone because it's just not that good it's not good enough but i just thought of it as, as just a fun just a fun pick so finally right now i have braviary on the google sheets but i believe i picked up uh toxic rogue i'm just gonna put toxic rogue there uh on the google sheet spreadsheet thing i have it says i have uh braviary but i actually tr traded that is for as a free agent and i got toxic rogue um, because Toxic Croak is really cool. I'm naming this thing Sagittarius because that's that's cool. I guess I might change it. I might change these nicknames. I have no idea. I'm just because uh, I wrote them down, but I don't really have them right now. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Wow, barely fits. So yeah, basically I wanted uh, I wanted Toxic Croak because. Um, it's got dry skin, which is another water immunity. Uh, it's got poison touch and anticipation. Ant anticipation. Uh, wait, never mind. That's not. Oh yeah, super effective move. So if anything, on my opponent's side has a super effective move, um, then I will shudder. I will shudder. Uh, it will show me that they have a super effective move, and I'll notice. Hey, they have a super effective move. I don't want to stay in here. Uh, maybe I will, but this thing is. Oh, it doesn't get agility. Never mind. It gets swords in, so I can set up on a on a wall and do a lot of stuff. It gets dream punch, which is nice, and also bullet punch. I didn't know it gets bullet punch, but I mean it gets sucker punch, so it's it's just better in my opinion. Uh, it gets thunder punch, X scissor, you know, stone edge, um, rock slide, voice crack, nasty plot, which could be nice. This thing is pretty decent on the special attack, and it's got really good attack. So if I get a sword stance up, and yeah, this thing is surpri it's surprisingly scary, because with Gunk Shot and Drain Punch, sword stance, and like, if I go burn Knock Off instead of Soccer Punch, that could be nice. Or Ice Punch, like, this thing gets a lot of coverage, and it's really scary to pu be put up against. Um, yeah, I'm going through this draft analysis just made me realize uh, the specialties of a bunch of different things. So, uh, this is a really long video. I didn't want it to be this long but it's fine like i i just wanted to talk about the team um i don't i'm not sure when week one will start but hopefully it will be soon so if you stuck around to the end of the video or if you just skipped to the end to see the rest of the team uh thank you so much for watching uh if you watch the whole video i i'm i feel bad for you because it's i just kind of just wasted your time but hopefully you're you're proud of this team uh i feel like it could go far, a long way but I haven't used a lot of things like like on my team. Like I haven't used uh, Mega Sceptile in a while. I haven't really used um, Sharpedo or obviously Tsurudo. I haven't used Toxic Croak in a while. I haven't used Gardevoir in a while. There's a lot of things that I'm just try trying to kind of test. But um, yeah, so this is almost half an hour long. So I'm just gonna stop the stop it right now. Um, if you have any suggestions for the team, make sure you go uh, put them down in the comment section below. And uh, yeah, my voice is very dry. I'll see you guys next time.